Hi. This is an equinox, and it's the fall equinox in the Northern Hemisphere now. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that, but first I'd like to do the invocation. So I call upon all the four directions, and may they be with us, the four directions, the four elements, the powers that rule them, watch over us always. We thank you. May our ancestors be with us as we enter this season of the ancestors. We thank them for all they have passed on to us and for all that they saved for us in their time. I call upon the followers of the ways of nature, all the nature beings. I call upon all the other than humans to have mercy on us humans, and may we as humans have mercy on you. I call upon all my teachers who have shown me ways to be more of who I am in my soul being and thank them. How oh, may it be this way for you as well. So the equinox is when there's a balance of light and dark and tomorrow is the actual exact equinox but as you know many peoples around the world didn't know this exact equinox although the Mayan people did and for instance and also the Anastasi people they built actual buildings so that when it was the solstice or the equinox, different lights would shine through different windows and it would be a sacred time is signaled. So what is it, the equinox, the equal time of day and night? And so we want to look at for the next few three months until the winter solstice, what that is for us and what it means and how balanced we are between the light and the dark, which could be symbolized by um, also so many other things that we can we can re re relate to this balancing, this balancing between the masculine and the feminine energies, between the inner and the outer life between our strengths and our weaknesses. It can also be the balance between humans and the other than humans. And the balance of the four elements inside of us. Do we have too much of some element or not enough? All these things can lead us into better practices, into better habits. Another way that we can be balanced is between the lower world and the upper world. And so I'm just going to sing two songs to remind us of these two pathways of the lower world and the upper world. And... Um, the first song is My Roots Go Down. And I'm going to get my drum. And you can join along if you would like. My roots go down, down into the ground. My roots go down. My roots go down down into the ground my roots go down 
My roots go down, down into the ground. My roots go down. My roots go down, down into the ground. My roots go down. This song reminds us that we are based in the lower world and our roots are our soul being that comes from the lower world, part of Mother Nature's creation here on Earth. And when we connect our roots to those roots, when we go down to the lower world to learn, to be healed, and to bring back information to share with others. This is a part of the balancing that we need as humans in the middle world. The next song is symbolic of the upper world and it says there's only one river, there's only one sea flowing through you and flowing through me. We are one. And this oneness is one of the aspects of the upper world. The further we go in the upper world, the more of oneness we are. Whereas in the lower world, we are our soul, which is to do a certain purpose in this world. So I'm going to sing this song for you, for the upper world. There is only one river, there's only one sea. It's flowing through you and it's flowing through me. We are one. We are one. There's only one river, there's only one sea. And it's flowing through you and it's flowing through me. We are one. We are one. There is only one river, there's only one sea. And it's flowing through you and it's flowing through me. We So this is a good time to look at your balance between your inner life and your outer life. If there's a good balance there, if you're spending too much time inwardly considering your own personal stuff all the time, or if you're also acting in the world, that's a very important balance. And also looking at your strengths and your weaknesses and how they interact. And if you have acknowledged enough strength to help overcome some of your weaknesses when they appear, um, that is one of the really key things to being in this middle world in a clear way and being able to express your soul. So I hope that this little short video has given you some good ideas about what to work on in the next three months until the winter solstice time and I hope that you'll join me for our Sunday shamanic study groups where we talk about topics and do a journey if you're interested in that, if you haven't been to it before, you can contact me at wisewomanhood at gmail.com and we'll get you ready to join in. Um, 
So have a happy equinox tomorrow and it's a good time to be full of light and dark, the lower and the upper both, the masculine and the feminine. Until next time.